booktubers I'm Crystal here um, I'm doing an update on my readathon um, I wanted to read something about uh, an author local like from Minnesota and I have Thunder Bay by William Kent Cooper this book here um, he writes the Cork O'Connor mysteries um, I'll, I'll read the back of this. Um, when a murder attempt is made on the life of Henry Malo, the old Ojibwe medicine man whose private detective Cork O'Connor, spiritual advisor, it's clear that the brutal assault has to be connected to Harry's recent search for the son he fathered many years before. But who is prepared to kill to keep the truth hidden? Um, the question takes Clark back to the 1920s when Below's love for a beautiful woman far outside his own culture led him into a trap of treachery, greed, and murder. And as Clark hastens to save his friend, he is reminded that the, of the promises we keep even for the best of our friends can sometimes place us in the hands of our worst enemies. Um, I've read this author before. He's pretty good. I haven't read this book by him. Um, I've read Purgatory Ridge. Um, some of the other books he's wrote is called Red Knife, Copper River, Mercy Falls, Blood Hollow, The Devil's Bed, Purgatory Ridge, Boundary Waters, and Iron Lake. So they're kind of Minnesota locations, which is kind of cool. To my co-conspirators at the Minnesota Crime Wave, Ellen Hart and Carl Brookins, we've never traveled through a, a road together we didn't like. I was like reading the, the, to the book dedications and acknowledgments. I'll, I'll read the acknowledgments too. Of course, buckets of gratitude to all the members of my writers group, Creme de la Crime, for, all, for their suggestions, large and small, that make a difference. To Danielle, e Egan, Miller, and the whole crew at Brown and Miller, thank you for your hard work on my behalf. We've, got, we've come a long way together and there's still plenty of road ahead. I'm deeply indebted to my editor, Sarah Branham whose insights kept me honest and whose enthusiasm keeps me hopeful. A huge thank you is due to David Brown, publicist extraordinaire for all the gymnastics, verbal and otherwise, in his efforts to get the word out. Finally, there is, finally as always, here's to the St. Clair broiler during half a century, James Jim Theras and his staff have created a haven, a comfortable place for folks to gather and connect and to gossip, to eat and drink, to enjoy a little time away from the mad crush, and sometimes <laughs> to even write. It's famous neon flame never be extinguished. So, I, I like this writer, and I like that he's local, so I'll Started. It has. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to see how many pages it has. <laughs> They're numbered. 390. And there's a sample of Heaven's Keep by William Kent Kruger, too. So I'll probably read the Heaven's Keep preview, too which isn't numbered, so, um, this book shouldn't take me very long, but, I uh, I'm anxious to get started, so I'm going to edit this video and upload it, and then get my work all done that I can read, because, yeah, <laughs> that's my reward, is being able to read. I know this is short, but, if I keep it short, then I get to read sooner, and then you get to hear about the book. Win win. <laughs> so, um, have a great day or night or whatever morning. 
Um, goodbye.